Uh, I'm Nick Bow, uh, and I will be the director. I'm Michael Wiggs. I'm the producer. My name is Shushu Pan, and I will be the director of photography. I'm Eric Marlam. I'm the production designer for The Mariner's Revenge. A thesis film set to music. We've had some difficulty kind of defining this. It's, it's not really music video. It's not really uh, musical. It, you know, what we're calling it is a film set to music. So it's, it is going to be completely musical the entire time, but it's going to be cut and shot more like a, a cinematic film versus a music video. I'm really looking forward to how I get to create the ocean with its deep blues and its coldness. I think it would be very interesting in how you shoot revenge using the ocean. The story was dramatic and touching as well. So the story is about Sam uh, and his quest for revenge against the man who destroyed his life. Uh, this man's name is Vince. Vince kind of uh, partnered up with Sam's widowed mother, Martha, and just kind of destroyed her. Uh, he gave her consumption and gambled away her entire fortune. So he left Sam and Martha basically homeless and it kind of destroyed Martha and she ends up dying. Uh, so Sam kind of spends his entire life seeking revenge on Vince and kind of the ironic thing about it is at the end when he finally finds Vince and is able to get get his revenge, he finds himself trapped in the stomach of a whale. Obviously there's meetings. Nick and I met countless, countless, countless times uh, discussing the visuals of the whale belly. Finally, I did a, a rendering of it and we went over that. It wasn't correct. So we went over it again, we drew it again, and I think I've drawn it maybe five times now. And finally, we sat down, we went over the bone structure, not only just the look, what's in the inside, what is it going to be made out of, how big is it? And I've started building a model now, hopefully that'll be finished soon. And after the model, I guess we start really constructing. We'll make a, a list of everything we need, and if we don't already have it, we go out and buy it, and then construction starts. Uh, let's see, so far the biggest struggle, like it's probably just trying to get all of these different parts to come together. It's a lot, this isn't just like, oh, we want to shoot a project. This is, this is a lot of stuff going into it. Um, finding all of the people who have the skills to make all of the different aspects of this come together has probably been the most difficult part. So I think people are going to really want to be a part of this project because it, it's really exciting. You know, we've got some elaborate sets that we're going to be building and creating some really great visuals to go along with a, a fantastic song. Um, so if people can be a part of it, whether it's in pre-production or, or production itself or even post-production, I think people should be excited to be a part of it. Um, even if, you know, you, you can only donate $5 or $10 or, you know, whatever it is, being a part of this, making this film happen um, is just a really great opportunity. Uh, we're kind of pulling from a bunch of different departments around the campus. We have people from the Performing Arts Department that are going to be our talent. Uh, who are going to sing the song for us and be the actors in it. We, like I said, we have stop motion, vis effects, production design. Uh, we have all those people kind of coming together to make this project happen. So I think that just the amount of work and effort that has been put into it already, and we're not even at the shooting process yet, just shows that it's going to be something worthwhile and something somebody would probably want to invest in.